Hey everyone, welcome back to the Millennial Men channel. I'm Josh. I'm Noah. I'm Schmo. And we are back with some more BTS. We got Bepse. The color coded lyrics, and I 100% said that correctly. We looked it up. We looked it up. Hopefully it's right. <laughs> Sorry if it's not. I tried. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it. And uh, we're going to get into it. Sweet. Okay, I kind of already want to talk about it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. 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 So, so they're they're obviously talking about how our current generation has it a lot harder than the previous generation. And you see, Saul, you said that my teachers have it all or had it all. And it's kind of like alluding to like the fact that we consider the millennial generation, that's like, I know we're the millennial men, but we're like the very end of millennials. Very end. The very last yeah. year, basically. <laughs> so basically everyone that's older than us and the generation, before, like the full generation before us, had like the ideal American dream and obviously mm. the generation before them even more so. And it's becoming like increasingly hard. And I say mm. American dream because that's like our interpretation of it. Yeah. But it's kind of universal and like a lot of the wealth is just generated towards like gotcha. the, the, the ability to prosper. Yeah, yeah type exactly. two, yeah. And you say like, oh, I'm going to try hard, but it's because I have to try hard. All right. And I'm like, yeah. No, I, it I resonates. I, I kind of get you. It's yeah, definitely you uh, cross international borders. There. I mean, yeah. all, all those all those reports and stuff that are like, oh yeah, a bachelor's degree doesn't mean what it used to mean. Like, you, if you really want to make it big with the particular industry you want to go into, you need a master's, you yeah. need a doctorate, you need more because so many people are getting bachelors now, and it's so competitive a market. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're tryhards because we got to compete, compete, compete. Yeah. That's why we built a backdrop. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh wait, sorry. I know. I just read it because I was paying attention to Josh. But the uh, generation that's given up, I've heard that so many times, like this year alone, mm -hmm. of like older people, older generations, just claiming that we've given up. And it's just like I see so many videos of people are, of my generation going, "Well, what the fuck do you want from us? We did literally, th literally everything you guys asked of us, and we're not at the position." that y'all were in at our age. So I don't know what you want. Like, yeah, a lot of the, and I heard, I, I could see it too. It's a common trend where a lot of, a, a lot of us in our generation are giving up. Mm -hmm. That is a normal thing. They're like, fuck it. I don't care anymore. I'm just going to live my life. I won't have a uh, money to pass down to my children and stuff like that. Fuck. I'm not even going to have children. I'm just going to fucking hang out, have a good time and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm, th I'm like kind of going down a rabbit hole here, but it's like, um, you hear a lot of the times like you have it easy or like yeah shit was harder back in my day yeah and it's like dude like you got no good you know how hard it is to like pay rent and shit nowadays bro <laughs> like, like i don't want to go down this rabbit hole too yeah. far about like complaining because we're obviously very blessed but like yeah you do hear a lot of the times of like oh back in my day yeah like i had to walk to, <laughs> school, walk to school uphill, uphill both, both ways. ways and i'm like, <laughs> that, that's, I'm like come on bro <laughs> that, that's where you like fucking oh, my shit that's crazy. That's crazy. All right, so we're back. Sorry, battery exhausted. Uh, yeah, but uh, we're here now. Yeah, I kind of lost my train of thought, so it's all good. I think we're good, yeah. No, you finished your yeah, point. Yeah. I was about to say that's where you roll your eyes during that conversation. Or you, or you, you just, just leave. leave. Yeah, yeah. Or you just fucking... <laughs> we are not... <laughs> Quick one, two. Do not... That we're not advising that. Just want to put that out there. We're not... <laughs> don't do that, please. Hmm. 
Is Beth say try hard? Is that what it is? It does sound like yeah. yeah. Oh, it's in the title. Try hard, try hard silver, silver spoon. spoon. Ah, yeah. we. Sorry. Was it? What, what's yeah. the saying? Born with a silver spoon in your mouth. Yeah. Or whatever? Yeah. Or yeah. Pause real quick. I really like the whole thing about like just try harder. Like that's mm-hmm. what they're saying right there is like Oh, it's not working out. Just like do more. Like just try harder. And it's oh. like I don't want this whole I don't want this whole video to be like us complaining about how <laughs> life hard it is. That's not the point we're trying to get across. It's just very much when you talk to somebody who back in the day, just having a degree or just being like good at a certain skill would pertain to not an instantaneous job, but like easier transition into the job market where things were a little bit more affordable. And grant there were granted there weren't a lot of things that we have now like teslas and huge things that are like very expensive but it very much now the the conversations that at least i have had now i know we have had with other people are like oh like back in my day it was harder and you just have to do more and try harder and like just x y and z as if everything is really cut and dry when it actually isn't and like never will be uh because like i feel like our society is progressing so much that like Things are becoming more and more harder to obtain and more and more obsolete in terms of like like getting a bachelor's degree. Like that's great. Now how do you differentiate yourself? How do you get that opportunity? X, Y, and Z, then the whole road I don't really want to go down. But yeah. Though the effort thing stood out to me a lot of like you're just not trying hard enough. Like it was harder for me. Mm-hmm. I had to do like like we said, uphill both ways. You're not doing enough type yeah. shit. I hear that a lot. Yeah. That's cool. I don't think I've ever heard them do that. Uh, what the is layering it? thing? The, yeah, the layering, like, like the fluctuation. Like different octaves? Yeah, I don't... I mean, I'm sure I have, but, like, it was very showcased right there, more yeah. so than yeah. Yeah. ever before, I think. Yeah. At least from the top of my head, I would agree. Draws out motion more. Mm-hmm. Pretty sick beat too. That is. <laughs> it is a good beat. It's a really good beat. I wanted to mention um, the chorus part switch in the very end. Mm-hmm. Um, and before it was like, oh, we've led, we've, we've uh, earned your name as you. Um, wanted type deal or something like that. I forget the exact word they use, but basically it was like as you was wanted. Right, here, right? We mean your expectations. Yeah, right yeah, there. yeah. But now they switched it to we're tryhards. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. During the whole thing, it wasn't we're tryhards. It was um, 
as you requested or something like that. Mm. Like that, as you requested, uh, we've earned our name. We've done what we're, we we literally did what yeah, we were supposed like, to do. Like, yeah, it's like that's what you yeah. wanted. It was like some yeah, as like you that. wanted, as you wanted mm. type deal or something like that. Mm. And now they at the very end they switch it, saying this those same lines, but instead of as you wanted, it was like uh, try now we're tryhards. Mm. Which is it's an interesting paradigm in terms of somebody who was dubbed a tryhard by their colleagues as someone who like goes above and beyond and is like doing the most or doing too much. And on the opposite side of the coin, other people are telling you you're not doing enough. Yeah. So it's like you have to find that happy medium of like, yeah. I mean, all, all honestly, you don't really have to. You can just not care. But it's like usually most of the time it's finding that happy medium of like your colleagues telling you, hey, you're trying way too hard. And then people who or you want guiding, you were telling you're not doing enough. So it's yeah. like... Yeah, I think I think this song overall... Like, the beat was good, and obviously the song quality was great, but I think, like, I was super drawn into, like, the meaning because it's, like, mm-hmm. so relevant to, yeah, like, it us with us. Yeah. and, like, the generation after us. So, what is it? Gen, Gen Z. Z. Yeah. Because we're, we're like, the, the oldest Gen Z, the youngest millennials. Depend like, on, yeah. depend on who you talk to, either we're millennials or Gen Z. Half yeah. our lives, we were full-blown millennials because they didn't have a name for the generation before us, uh, after us. And now that I'm at this point in my life, I'm either a millennial or Gen Z, depending yeah. on who's talking to me. We're like that fringe yeah. area, but, like, I think all of this just is, like, we've heard this. We hear, we see this in the media. We see this in, like, talking TikTok. points, like, political talking <laughs> points, like, every, everywhere, everything. Yeah. Any any sort of outsource, any sort of, like, outsource media. Mm. You, like you're saying, and I think this song, yeah. more than others for me, I feel like it was really, like, deeply about the meaning. Mm-hmm. Like, the, the beat was great, but it was, like, not as intense or, like, super, like, loud and, like... In your face, it was very like nice, like s- not subtle, but like it was more like background. They were like talking to yeah. you about like yeah. their experience. It was the beat. The beat was literally there just to keep the cadence of the conversation. Mm-hmm. That's all it was because mm-hmm. it really was kind of like a conversation. Them talking about all these points of which, uh, which they keep getting backlash from older generations, or they keep hearing things that older generations are saying about their generation. That mm-hmm. whole idea. So the beat mm-hmm. really was just keeping you there yeah. with them. I agree. Yeah. Well, yeah. obviously, resonated heavily with us. We briefly skimmed the comments of this song before we looked, and we saw it resonate with a bunch of people. So uh, we're excited we uh, got the opportunity to actually uh, listen to it. But besides that, y'all know what to do. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, and thank you for stopping by the Money Man channel. Peace.